The governor's education agenda was the big topic in Tallahassee today, and while GOP lawmakers had their own ideas about the governor's plan, critics say the proposed changes could still censor, even rewrite history. News Channel 8's Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean has a story now from the state capitol. Republican lawmakers did give this bill a revamping today, but that didn't stop Democrats from railing against it. Ultimately, it cleared its Senate committee today. A course change for higher ed reform in Florida. SB 266 is reported favorably. SB 266 was rewritten Wednesday, now using broader definitions to limit but not eliminate diversity, equity, and inclusion programs in colleges and universities. The bill outlines concepts. The bill now bans instruction that systemic racism, sexism, oppression, and privilege are inherent in U.S. institutions. Nothing in this bill is meant to prohibit speech or to keep facts from being pre pre presented. And one of the purposes of this bill is to guard against compelling speech. But people like Genesis Robinson say this policy is all about censorship. It is total censorship, uh, you know, and, and that's what this was about from the beginning. And hundreds of others agree, signing this petition that was dropped off to lawmakers today in hopes of stopping the bill. There should not really be limitations on what individuals are able to learn in an academic setting, right, uh, particularly at higher education. Curriculum isn't the only thing getting an overhaul. The state's tenure review process will change from as needed to a mandatory five-year review, something professors warned would further an educator shortage. They want to be assured that their tenure process will be about academics and not politics. Now, the House's version of the bill does have some differences from this now amended Senate version, so those will have to be reconciled prior to this being sent to the governor's desk. Reporting from the Capitol, Libby Dean, 8 on your side.